my name is Carlton and I'm here to take you on how to rotate, move or scale uh, any object in, in AutoCAD uh, 3D. So without further ado, what we do first is that we draw, for this case we have to draw our object that we want to rotate or move. So I'm just going to draw this funny shape here. That will be our object that we want to rotate. Okay, so you need to change our view into sorry a, into this view. Let's extrude it again first before we do anything. So you select extrude, you select the item, you press enter, then you extrude it maybe to the top up to here. It's fine. Then you change from the wireframe to conceptual view or realistic view so that you can see the object. This is our object, that is our, now our object. Mm -hmm. So what we do, if you want to rotate, I'm going to teach you rotate first. So if you want to rotate, 3D rotate, you press here where it says 3D rotate, you select the object that you want to rotate and you press enter. Then you move this item, you select the, so you select the point that you that you want to move or to rotate from so in this case maybe you want to use this corner select the corner as you can see the gizmo moves to that for that corner so if you check here at the bottom left corner we have the z axis being the blue the x axis being the red and the y axis being the green so it depends on the axis that you want to move your uh, you rotate your item in this case we want to rotate into the uh, uh, from the x axis so you select the x axis as you can see to give you a line a straight line like that that means this is our x axis then we press the angle or you put the angle that you want to rotate by you want to rotate by 90 degrees as you can see we are done you can also uh write in the command uh box uh 3d rotate is now uh, rotate sorry rotate then you press enter again you select the point uh, the object that you want to rotate then you press enter on the keyboard then you will select the corner that you want to rotate from from there in this case i think i will rotate in the z axis to select the the z axis then you input the angle maybe you want to put the angle of 60 degrees as uh, five minutes maybe in uh, 30 34 seconds so remember when you are writing the degrees you write the d 60 d the minutes you put that uh, apostrophe and so forth then you press enter you can do that again with the x uh the z uh coordinates you can when you want to rotate you can actually select even select where is the right hand selection you select here you press the down arrow then you'll find the rotation the rotate gizmo then you are done that's how you rotate let me undo and go back to the first view that we have yes from here 3d move your object you select the 3d move icon which is this one and you can type in 3d move on the command uh, line then it, it still give you the same result then you select the item then you press enter you select the head of the axis that you want to move it to either x y or the z so in this case i want you to move it in the x direction you can even type in the, the distance that you want to move it i want to move it five so five as it is that's how you move uh, an object in 3d either you move it upwards or downwards again you can go here and uh, press the down downward uh, button and just select the move it still give you the same results then from there now i'm going to teach you how to scale you, again you can type in in the command 3d scale 3d scale then you press enter on your keyboard or you can go to modify then you select this icon which is 3d scale or you can go to selection 
again the downward arrow here then you select the 3d scale then you select your object then you press enter in this one it doesn't matter um, it doesn't matter which side you, you you select for my observation it still gives you the same results so you select the point that you want to start your your scaling then from there you select maybe any of the heads then you put in the scale factor so if you want uh, your object to increase in size your scale factor should be more than one but if you want to re to reduce inside your scale factor can be anything less than one for example if you want to make it half of the size you type in 0, 0,5 as your scale factor then you press enter as you can see it's now smaller again if you select it and select the move uh, the scale again scale then you select uh, the corner that you want to scale it from sorry select scale again you select the object then you press enter you select the corner if I want it to double in size or trip in size select the item then I press 3 as our factor then there you go I hope you enjoyed watching this video make sure to like and subscribe so that we can continue making other videos like this uh, thank you guys thank you for watching